Hello! Kumusta po kayo? Ako, it's a wonderful uh, day na naman po. Ano? Uh, kumusta po? Ha- how's your health? Kumusta po ang mga kaiganin niyo? Ang mga pamilya? No? How are you? Kumusta po muna? Kumustahan muna po tayo? So, well, you know, today, again, we have another very good topic. In fact, ang symptom na ito, eh, I should say, maraming nagtatanong dito. One way or another, magkakaroon kayo ng ganito, di ba? Mararamdaman ninyo. So, before going any further, again, ng aking uh, paalala po, we always honor, no? glorify God, siya palagi. No? Kanina, uh, usually jog every morning. So, yun ang time uh, for me, no? before I wake up, I pray. Before mag-jog, pray. Salamat tayo. Salamat. Uh, for good health, no? magandang tulog, Those are priceless. Mga ganun po. Ano? So, how's your sleep, by the way? <laughs> so, di ba? We, we are advocating good health. And I do hope sinusunod niyo po yung mga sinasabi namin. Mga good uh, diet, good food. Siyempre, the five strategies. So, baka makalimutan ko. Siyempre, very basic na po ito. But I, I, I will, uh, I should say, mas nilalagyan ko ng diin. Bakit po? Kasi po, well, it's all over the news naman that there is a so-called, there was a reported uh, variant of the COVID-19. Diba? May, may nababalitang ganun. Again, makinig lang po tayo sa tamang mga authorities, mga Department of Health, walang mga fake news, huwag mag-panic, 
tama pong uh, mga methods or measures na gagawin po. Okay, magantay lang po tayo. Tapos po, uh, again, just to remind you kasi inline naman po ito sa uh, yung strategy natin. Ano uli yun po? Ha, uh, boost your immune system. Remember that, di ba? Number two, very clear po ito. In fact, if you read uh, sa news, no? Sinong affected? Itong mga may mga common diseases, no? Mas high risk sila. So, manage your uh, uh, co um, comorbid diseases or illnesses. The third, of course, antioxidants. It works wonders sa katawan natin. Then, of course, very, dito sa atin, I'm very proud kasi we have uh, emphasized on that. Yung sinasabi natin, gut health. Okay? Kasi po, nung na-discuss natin ang gut health, we were able to discover na, aba, kala lang natin, nutritional lang yan, yung gut natin, which is correct. But it has a connection with the so-called immune health natin. In fact, yung soldiers of the body natin, malaki pinalaman ng gut natin. That's why we have to take good care of it. Okay? And lastly, importante po dito. That's why ako palagi pong nire-remind ang lahat po to, to, do, to honor God, pray. Pag may problem tayo, give it to Him. Ika nga, no? Share it to Him. Kasi may solusyon yan. So we must have a so-called a healthy mind, a mental, and emotional state. Importante yun. Sige. Mind if I read muna? Sige. Okay, there you go. Pa-whisper. Team Alakdan Rangers, si Leia Colombrillo. Lagay ko nga dito. Yun, there you go. Yun, para nakakawan ako, nakatutok pa. <laughs> Hello, up Jeffrey uh, Hudilia, Mary Ann Arizobal, Nelly and Cajas Villadares. Yan. Uy, natutuwa po pag uh, on a Sunday. Alam niyo, pag Sunday talaga. It's a rest day. Rest day. But uh, you find time. Ako, in a week, you would notice, no? I have one slot only kasi nung una po, uh, last year when we were conceptualizing na uh, I should do an FB live, ako po yung nakiusap sa management din po kayo na boss. And by the way, sir, boss, magandang uh, uh, pleasant day po sa inyong lahat. At saka syempre si, si boss G, no? si sir Gary. Uh, nakiusap po ako na medyo ito lang po ang kaya kong maibigay because I am also a work person. May trabaho din po and they're very, very uh, understanding. <laughs> uh, bigyan po ako. Basta importante to guide you to give uh, correct facts, medical facts or health facts or awareness or concerns sa mga issues natin. So maraming salamat po. So, okay. Hello up uh, Therese Sunny Humuan. Hello up Joe, Jum, did I pronounce it well? Joe Mens Ayupan. No? <laughs> Nelly Angkahas Villadares. Ayun, na-mention natin ito. Watching from Saudi, si Madel Berina Andoya. Hello. Good morning, coach. At sa isa 4x4 international system team. Good morning, si Ivy Basya. Very good. Okay, mag-heart na ako dito. Yeah, mag-heart tayo. Padamihan natin ang heart. Ayun. <laughs> At syempre, yung very active natin na... Uh, LBNA, one of the senior LBNA members natin, si uh, Up May. Hello, Up May. Oh, malamig siguro dyan sa Baguio, no? sigurado. <laughs> Parang, uh, how low is your temperature in that? So, hope you are enjoying your stay in there. No? Siyempre, isa na naman magaling na uh, uh, practitioner natin sa LBNA. Hello, Up. Leoticia Mente Imata. Good morning, Doc. From Kuwait pala si I Up IB Basya. So, yun, sige. Sila Lawrence Managat, Madel Andoyo, Noel Alberga. There you go. Sige. I have time to greet everybody. <laughs> oh, from Paranaque, napakalayo. Si Celci Danag Makasilhig. Tama ba? Tama ba yan? Okay, I think I did it well. From Nueva Ecija, EOS 4x1 or 15 system. Si Up Joss Toralba. Yan, magaling natin na LBNA practitioner yan. Good morning ko. Aba, ang dami. Parang ang dami natin ngayon. Thank you very much po. Uh -huh. Up Madel Berina Andoyo. So, Up Mary Grace Pario, Pario from Saudi Arabia. Wow. 
anong temperature dun at this point? Siguro ma- malamig din ano? Tama ba? Uh, balitaan mo na mga <laughs> up Carol now. I'm watching with you. Wow, thank you. Up Madel Andoyo, ba? Active si Up Madel ah. Thank you ah. Na- natutuwa po ako. Keep it coming. Kasi po ang i-discuss natin most likely maybe kayo po nagkaroon na nito or probably yung mga magulang niyo or kakilala niyo. So the issue in here is what we can do at our end, no? Sa ating end, ano pwede natin mai-contribute dito? So, sige. Pero basahin ko muna. I have to recognize ang dami po eh. Ang bilis nga po eh. <laughs> pag nabibitawan ko, ang bilis ng pag-akyat niya. Thank you very much. Ape, oh, yun na. Sabi ko na eh. Ape, tapos biglang nawala. Oh, there you go, Ape. Thank you po, Abdit Anibal from Egypt. Wow. Team in Freedom International. God bless you niyan. I like that. Thank you, Abdit Anibal. I love I, I love those things. Uh, Siyempre, we need God talaga. <laughs> Healthy po, coach. Wow. Uh, hello po, Doc. Sabi ni Abdit Tisha. Ah, yeah. Imata. Thank you, Ap. Oh, yung, by the way, di ba, um, for everybody's um, information, yung inyong LBNA team, nagkaroon po ng meeting, uh, should I say strategic meeting, kung paano natin, anong magiging role ng LBNA. Now that we have this pandemic, kasi dati-rati, sabi ko nga po sa mga ka-teammates ko sa LBNA, aba dati-rati po, we have that uh, procedure na mag, di ba, mag, nag-pre-trick po sila. But because of the condition, the pandemic, and syempre, obviously, wala naman nag-pre-trick na one meter apart. Paano mo ma-pre-trick yun? <laughs> so, hindi pa rin po nawawala ang inyong LBNA team. Bakit po? Because what is in here actually among LBNA uh, team is the so-called health promotion. Di ba? So, na-train po ang team natin Um, ano ang mga proper ways sa nutrition, tapos sa uh, basic sa uh, science, may mga ganun po, ano, na-train po sila. Uh, eka nga po, for the sake of health promotion, yun po ang atin. Okay? So, alam na alam po ito ng mga LBNA members po natin. Sige nga po. Good morning, sabi ni Ap Maricel Humadiao. There you go. Uh-huh. Mag-take down notes po kayo ngayon kasi, you know, My my um, sharing for uh, today, hindi ganun kahaba, ika nga po. Pero it's quite, I should say, practical at malaman, direct to the point. Questions that you would sometimes ask, no? That um, sometimes hindi na sasagot or ito ngayon mas direct ang sagot. Okay? So parang ganun. Especially if you have uh, clients who have this symptom. So itong pwede niyong i-advise. In fact, ang title nito, Those and don'ts if you have these symptoms. Okay, makikita natin. Sige, basahin ko muna kasi gusto ko ma-justify yung pag-PPM uh, ninyo. Thank you. Uh, Provilin Fernandez, good morning. From Bahrain, Team SOS System, The Legends. I like that name. Sandra Painagan Salabao Ramos. Okay, syempre si Apwena. Ako, Apwena, pagbasa ko ng name mo, biglang gumanon sa dami. But Apwena, isa sa magaling po natin na LBNA practitioner po yan. Magagaling po yan. Sige. Apdaina Jimenez. Ako, hindi ko na nabasa message. It's ang bilis. <laughs> Aplinda Maso from Abu Dhabi. There you go. Ay, ang lalim na pala. I'm reading talagang nahuhuli po ako. Ap, oh, syempre si Kabayan. O, Kabayan, Madeline Ley Santos Baksal. Kumusta? Kung oh, pinatak na hain mo, ha? <laughs> Oh, there you go. Ang dami, ang dami. <laughs> Attend tayo, sir. Awareness. Oh, sabi ni Renmark, Daho kasi na kay Danilo Ogma Jr. Oh, Attend po kayo. You can ask question. Ako naman po, uh, ang, my style of doing a lecture or sharing, um, I always recognize yung source. Uh, meron tayong certain topic, tapos may mas expert. I would learn, I would gather uh, information. Of course, I know also from what From, from my training, or what I know, pinukumbayan ko po yun, to come up with a, uh, should I say, uh, practical presentation para sa lahat, para magamit natin, mas ma-appreciate natin. Okay? So, proud team voltage, May, May Ann, and Mateo. Wow, very good. Merli Kahumban is watching. Ang bilis talaga. So, not to, uh, ito pa. 
at maan pi abreya. There you go. Sige, from payatas, myla corpus. There you go. Sige, mag-start na po ako. Sir, mag-sharing na ako. Sir, ano? Okay, there you go. Sa saan kaya yan? Ito ba? Ah, ito ba? Yan, there you go. Sige. Do you see it now? Oh. Natutuwa ako kasi... How do you call that? Uh, parang mas mabilis ang kuwan eh. From my screen, uh, as compared to, to my phone, no? nakikita ko yung, yung gap. Unlike noong una, more than 20 seconds pa ata yun. Now it's quite uh, mas mabilis. At again, natutuwa po ang dami natin. Maraming salamat po. And I know, bawat isa sa inyo, more or less, you're inviting. Uh, iba kasi in groups, pag nag, uh, uh, nakikinig, maraming salamat. So there you go. As you can see in your screen, ang ating topic po ay knee pain. Sakit sa tuhod. Okay? Anong pwedeng gawin at hindi dapat gawin? Do's and don'ts. So this is part of our the diseases, uh, diseases rather, signs and symptoms series. Diba series to? For those of you who have just joined uh, itong ganitong klaseng lecture, itong ga gan ganitong klaseng sharing, Ang ginawa po natin, mga kasama, especially yung mga newbie dito, yung mga bago, o nakikinig lang, o kaya naman meron dating nakikinig na, katabi niya, eh, in-invite. And ito po ang system natin. So, what we did is that to come up with a more uh, comprehensive at saka mas malawak po natin makakover ang mga diseases, signs and symptoms. Ang ginawa ko po, po, I just follow the basic ABC. Okay? Although previous to this, may mga lectures na po tayong binibigay, sumishare. At sa awan ng Diyos naman, I've been receiving good uh, reviews, uh, pasasalamat. Yung iba nag-private message. Oh, by the way po ha, yung iba po, you, you can, pag na send ng friend request, uh, sa dami po kasi, uh, tapos if you need, uh, if you have a question, pwede idiretsyo na lang ninyo sa messenger, doon na lang kayo magtanong. Okay po. Mas na alarm pa po ako doon uh, or na alert ako doon than, than on the friend uh, request. Okay? Sige po. So in in my personal uh, Facebook uh, uh, page ano or account brother, actually marami ako mga health tips. May ako mga health tips doon. So it's about health awareness, humor about life. Uh, marami po yun. Sige. <laughs> okay, there you go. So, knee pain. Ano pwedeng gawin at hindi pwedeng gawin? Tanong. Okay. Oh. Hindi nag-move up ang screen. Ah. Ayaw mag-move up, sir. Yun, there you go. Tanong. When you hear the words knee pain. Yun. Sana hindi kayo naihilo sa graphics ko dito. <laughs> I was looking for uh, parang animation na nagtatanong. So parang ganito na. Okay? So, if you won't mind. Pag narinig ninyong <coughs> knee pain, anong nasa mind nyo kagad? Can you please write it down? Knee pain. Anong nasa mind ninyo? Knee pain. Anong cause? Uh, sige nga po. Antayin ko mga kuha ninyo. Feedback. So habang inaantay ko po, I have to read muna yung mga greets. So again, the, the question is, Whenever you hear the words knee pain, what comes sa mind niyo? Anong cause kung nasa mind niyo? Sige nga. Hello, up, uh, George Barrera, up, Cheryl Balios, Landayao Rossi, Rechen Lorente Abulan. Ah, daming ini-invite ni uh, up Rechen. Thank you. Uh, Jenari Villegas is also watching. Thank you. Up Rechen. Uh, ah, there you go. Up Landayao Rossi. Ayan. Uh, good morning, Doc. Sabi ni Mercy Tadlik Ayuban. Sabi ni Ham Seya. Tama ba ka-pronounce ko? Oh, sabi ito. May naunang sumagot. Sabi ni Ap Lorely de la Cruz Ubal. Rayuma. Ngipin. Rayuma kagad. Okay. Sabi naman ni uh, Corazon Romero. Rayuma din. Ni Gaod Ablasan Len. Rheumatism. Wow. Renato Socorro Rayuma. Ah, ito, watching from Istanbul pala itong si Aplorili. Dela Cruz, Ubal. What time kaya ngayon, Aplorili? Thank you for answering. Ha? 
Ikaw na unang sumagang. Galing, ha? Sabi ni Ap Anita Paglinawan, Reyuma. Diba? Sabi ni Ap Madel uh, Berina Andoyo. Very active si Ap Madel. Thank you. Rheumatism court. Coach, rather. Uh, for, watching from Malate, si Marvin Baliling. Uh, hi, Landayao Rossi. Ano pa itong salot nila? Sabi ni Apeli Sustiger de la Cruz. Ito yung naiba sagot ni Apeli. Mataas ang uric acid. Okay. Which can lead to rayuma. <laughs> diba? Okay. Rayuma po agad ang naisip ng marami doc. Sabi ni Apnenet Arroyo. Very good. Good point. Good point. Oh, am I still reading mga other answers dito? Good morning doc from Hong Kong. Rambo. Glenny B. De Leon. Andres Vender. I have pronounced the... Uh, Slowly yung name mo. Andres Vender. Okay, baka magkamali. Ano? <laughs> Good morning po coach from North Cotabato. Uh, kumusta diha? No? At Andres Vender. Uh, Bebe Gonzaga Aranda. Hi, Good morning dog. From Yad, Maria, Debbie, Cabrio. So are there other answers? So, uh, <laughs> thank you up Joyce Ibarrera. Hi, Aronelos. Arthritis ang sagot niya. Siyempre, sabi ni Ape nga, arthritis, pe-obsial. Okay, there you go. Ah, si Ape May Leobardo, na iba sagot ni Ape May. Knee injury trauma. Hmm, there you go. Tignan nga natin mamaya. Okay, watching here in Cav uh, Cavite. Ang layo-layo. Adona Casio. At from Dasma. Oh, Ronald Pabrigal. Ano pa magkita-kita tayo dito? So, sabi ni Ape Lorelai sa Turkey, It's around 10.30 a.m. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Aplorly. So, si Kabayan Madeleine Rayuma. Okay. Jennifer Cruz, mataas ang uric acid. Uh, what else? Tendonitis, sabi ni Ap May Libardo. Sabi ko sa inyo eh. Kaya nga mentor ko yan si Ap May Libardo eh. <laughs> Dami ako natutuhan dyan. <laughs> thank you, Ap May. Okay. Oh. Arthritis, sabi ni Aplanda yung Rossi, Rayuma, Joyce Bregoli. So there you go. Sige. Oh, thank you. Ang daming sagot. Ano? Okay, there, therefore, allow me to show you a... Of course, this was done. The common causes me pain. In fact, majority of you, ito po yung sinabi ninyo. Uh, wala nga. Dito po kayo nag-focus... Diba? Tama po ba? Arthritis kagad. Which is correct. Ano? Tama naman po. But we have to remember, pag sinabi niyong arthritis, no, I can't wait na mag-arthritis uli ang topic natin kasi i-discuss ko yung pa isa, isa types of arthritis para mas madelineate natin. No? Anyway, uh, common dito na cause is uh, 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 pag may knee pain, arthritis. Tama po kayo. In fact, for the older people, or adult, ayaw nila older, adult, ang common dito sa kanila ay osteoarthritis. Ito yung wear and tear. Ito yung dahil sa kaka, probably line of work nila. Or kaya naman increase in weight. Yan. Magkakaroon sila ng osteoarthritis. Which is quite different. Although arthritis din ang tawag pag may rheumatoid arthritis. Kanina po, may nag-mention about uh, may nag-mention about uh, ikaw ko lang ha there you go para laser pointer na tayo para hindi tayo malito okay okay may nag-mention about increase in uric acid usually ang iba pag sinabing uric acid ang tinitignan nila yung big toe nila ah, yun daw which is okay naman commonly Uh, located, but it can also manifest kahit sa tuhod. Okay? Tandaan niyo po yun. And look at this one. Septic arthritis. Anong ibig sabihin ng septic arthritis? So, this is a type of arthritis, but this time, uh, of course, uh, it has a so-called infection. So, medyo uh, iba ang management. Why do we have to know the cause of knee pain? Again, because yung approach natin, yung ating, uh, well, especially among doctors, the management ay magkaiba-iba po. Let's go to the other side. If those are the types of arthritis ang uh, uh, one of the cause ng knee pain. On the other side, 
Aha, lagay tayo ng pointer para hindi maingit si arthritis. <laughs> On this portion, makikita ninyo. There you go. Ayan. Si pointer natin. There you go. Meron naman po, the cause of knee pain. Ay, sabi nga ni Acme ata yung sumagot na, no? Injuries. Okay? So, tama po yun. Now, if you have a, let's say, uh, ACL, lalo na itong mga nagbabasketball, di ba? Yung mga athlete natin. O ngayon, bawal pa magbasketball, di ba? Basically, pinagbabawal yun. Uh, but, on on those um, uh, activities, lalo na yung basketball, maririnig natin sa mga kung po doon, sa mga health report nila or medical report. So, eh, na isang player ang nagkaroon ng ACL injury. Ito po, ACL injury. Now, obviously, can the supplement help you? Eh, kung surgical po ang kuan yan, ang uh, management, surgical po. No? Sometimes, no, let us not overdo things. Ano ibig sabihin ko po doon? Uh, while supplements are very, very important, proven naman po natin, there are mga diseases, illnesses, conditions that needs more or that need more uh, than um, supplement. May mga specific management. So you really need a doctor, an expert on that. Kumpela ng surgery, then surgery. Okay? That's what I mean. But should, should, should you discontinue with your supplement? Eh, tuloy pa rin po kasi, di ba yung limang strategies natin? Alala niyo ulit yung lima? Wala naman akong sinabi that... Uh, pag meron kang, uh, let's say, ACL injury, pag nag-take ka ng, uh, let's say, complete uh, tear yan ng ligament mo, di ba? anterior cruciate ligament, ACL, e pag nag-supplement ka, eh, by itself, mag-heal yan. Medyo mahirap po yun. No? Surgery talaga. Wala naman tayo minimension. But what we're mentioning is that we are preparing our body. We are uh, keeping our body healthy. Kaya nga yung immune system na napaka-importante niya. At least it would help in the healing process. Yun ang atin habol doon. So that, that's a good uh, 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 priority. Now, if you go down, so lagyan ko lang ng highlight para ma makita natin lahat. So I use yellow, then red, then probably in this part. Well, let's use green. Okay, there you go. Or blue for that matter. Ngayon, important in here ay itong risk factors. So, tanda nyo. Of course, on the other side, ito ha, hindi naman natin ito uh, minimis, itong uh, area na to. Those are other other uh, cause uh, or cause of uh, knee pain, mga mechanical. So, yun nga, may dislocated. So, iba-iba management. But let me direct your attention on this on this portion, itong risk factor. Bakit po? Kasi, dito sa risk factor, mapapansin niyo one of the risk factor is Excess weight. Can we do something about that? Definitely, yes. Ang sagot doon. Lack of muscle flexibility or strength. Ano, may magagawa ba tayo doon? Definitely, meron. Certain sports and basketball, of course, uh, the risk factor. No? The previous injury. Sige. If that, uh, ako na po ako ha. Mag-change ako ng, ng slide. Okay, so, ito po yung mga sinagot ninyo. Pasok na pasok dito yung mga causes, di ba? So, pag-uusapan natin, once you have knee pain, what are the do's and don'ts? Okay? So again, I think I have this uh, reference. Uh, uh, Google, no? Maganda. Maganda ang mga reference. Way back my time, <laughs> uh, pag gusto namin ng reference, we have to go to the library. Di ba? Ganun po. Now, it's all over sa internet. Ibang-iba na po ngayon. That's why walang rason that you can have those information. Pero sabi ko nga po, it's another thing to get the correct uh, information, the right information. Ibang usapan naman po yun. Or right reference. Okay, so careful po tayo sa mga sinistretch natin o binabasa. Okay, so what are the do's and don'ts if you have any pain? Nga po, try to write this down. Para mas matandaan natin. Para pag may kausap po tayo, limbawa po, client natin, or even our family or friends, ito po ang pwede ninyong i-advise. And this is based on so-called science. May reference ito. Ready na? 
Sige nga, kung ready na, tignan ko nga habang binabasa ko. O palagay naman po, ready? Can I, uh, uh, can I see yung kung sinong ready? Ay naman po dito ready habang binabasa ko po ang mga nagre-greet sa atin. Hello po, uh, uh, Roslyn is from Kuwait. Oh, wala pa bang ready? Sige nga po. Uh, up Jennifer Viegas. Hi, Belflor Jean Corones. Hi, uh, Cheryl Baleos. Angel Wings. Wow. George C. Barrera. Uh-huh. El Elsie Tomas uh, Ganayo. Sino pa? Frederick Antolin Galen. Hello. Up Hilda Kisto. Thank you, Up Hilda. Ito ka Facebook ko ata ito si Up Hilda o oh, sa Messenger na no? Up uh, Hilda na. No? Thank you po. Oh, there you go. Landaya Rossi. Oh, pumapalakpak dito si Up Frederick Antolin Galen. Thank you. Oh, sige nga, sinong ready? Let, let me read. There you go. Oh, the very first one to say na ready ay si Up Doming Umangay Viloria. Wow, thank you. Ready. Siyempre, oh, si Up Lori Lee de la Cruz Oval. Talagang uh, ready. From Turkey with love. Tama ba? <laughs> si Up Madeline Kabayan. Ready na po. Ready na rin si Up Madel. Berina Andoyo. Palguera. Pamisaran. Raisa. Okay. Ivy Basia. Ready din. Uh, Renato Socorro. Elsie Tomas Ganayo. Siyempre, si Up Mili. Mga ready na po sila. Uh, ah, ito. May singit tayo. Sabi ni Up Reso Luzon Obsial. Hello, Coach. Good morning. Pa-whisper in sa... Masipag at supportive naming upline, Anthony Delquin Guillam. Thank you. At sa kasama namin na si Joyce Bregole. Thankful po kami sa kanila. Very supportive. Gusto ko. Tulungan tayo. No? Tulungan tayo. Team uh, ISA 4x4 International System watching from Saudi. Ready na rin si Russell G. Kalinting. Ready na ready na po. Do, sabi ni Up Glenny B. De Leon. Hindi lang ready. Ready ready. I like that. <laughs> Sabi na Hailey Anchero Nilos, ready na rin po. Watching from Calamba, CAP, Marilo Cabilen Toque. Oh, ka-Facebook to. Or ka-Messenger. Super ready. Aba, talaga na naman si Up Mayli Bardo. Thank you po. Ready na po, Up Nenet uh, Arroyo. Okay, there you go. Up Daikiten Re Reca Huerta. Ako, mahirap po lahat. Basahin ko. Basta alam po, ready na po kayo. Excited na po ako. Salamat po for your response. Okay. So, take note of this. Ha? So, let's start. Ano ang una nating tatandaan? If you have knee pain, itong advice ng mga experts natin, don't rest too much. O, tandaan nyo ito, baka naman magkamali tayo ng pagbasa nito. Iba yung do not rest <laughs> from don't rest too much. Anong ibig sabihin po dito ng author? If you have knee pain, of course, resting para hindi ma-aggravate, ay tama po yun. That's correct. But don't do it Too much. Bakit po? Sige. May explanation yan. Too much rest. We're talking about knee pain, ha? Can weaken your muscle. O ganun pala yun. O tama naman, masakit. So, i-rest mo yun. Tama naman po yun. But if you do that too much, to the point that you are doing it again, as I've said kanina, uh, medyo sobra na ata, it can weaken your muscle. At anong epekto nan? Non, rather. It can worsen your joint pain. So, imbis po, ang gusto mo lang ay mag dahil masakit, pag pinasobra mo pala yan, ay mawi-weaken ang muscle, lalong sasakit po ang joint ninyo. Okay? So, be careful with this. Find an exercise program that is safe for your knees and stick with it. So, kailangan imumove mo pa rin po kahit paano. Okay? I'm not saying to na yan po i-aggravate mo, yung biyan sa kakayanan ng, ng uh, condition mo. Pero have time. Remember, ito yung unang advice kagad ng expert natin. Ang daming mga do's and don'ts, una niyang advice, ito kagad. Don't rest too much. Imagine ka ba, knee pain, ang unang sinabi mo, don't rest too much. Huwag niyo kakalimutan yung too much, ha? Kasi baka makalimutan. Baka sa mga... Kaya kung nga nire-rest, eh, because it's painful. Eh. Diba? Tama naman po, but not too much. What else? Of course, if you're going to find a so-called exercise program, importante, 
kausapin ninyo po ang doktor ninyo at o kaya naman yung physical therapist yan mga galing yan sila they know the specific exercise or range of motion o kaya naman po activities na pwede po sa condition mo okay there you go so klaro ha imagine first advice don't stress too much ano kaya ang iisipin ano halimbawa may family member kayo or kaibigan sabihin ma'am sir uh, nabalita ang ko po nasa po kayo nasa uno uno eh maganda po ang inyong health program maganda po ang inyong approach ninyo sa health holistic nga sabi nga ni uh, Jerry ko di ba tama po eh mangyari po may masakit ang tuhod ko anong advice pero niyo anong unang advice mo well don't re rest too much hindi <laughs> kaya magulat ka at umalis that is why that moment no maganda sana kausapin mo bigyan mo ang rason bakit okay ayan naman po na susulat naman po ikaw nga po you can take a picture or kaya i-review niyo po ito later uh, o kaya naman po pag sa mga groups ninyo magkuha po kayo mag-sharing tama po yun okay, there you go <laughs> don't rest too much okay there you go next <coughs> Ina-advise nga po na hindi mag-rest too much. Sabi ng experts natin, do exercise. Nakita naman ninyo yung animation ko. Nakakatuwa, di ba? Alam mo? <laughs> Nag-exercise sila. There you go. Yeah, nag-exercise sila. Okay, anong rason? Bakit? You said don't rest too much. That, then this time you're telling your friend, your family member, or, or client, na mag-exercise. Because cardio exercises. Oh, remember, cardio exercises. Oh, anong niyo po ito sa mga doctor? What are cardio exercises? Kasi maraming klaseng exercises. So ito, cardio exercises. It strengthen the muscle. So kung kanina, too much rest, it weakens your muscle. Ito naman yung cardio exercises. It strengthen the muscles that support your knee and increase flexibility. O, klaruhin natin yan. So alam po natin itong ating tuhod po. They have... It is supported by a lot of muscles. So around it, may mga muscles po. And, pag napabayaan po yan, hindi na po ninyo ginagalaw yan, ika nga po, sabi nga natin, it would weaken. Actually, may term kami, medical, pag hindi mo ginaw, ginaw, ginalaw yan, or um, you don't exercise that portion. Talaga, immobile lang. Okay? Uh, in a long run, I repeat, in a long run, yan po ay hindi lang mag-weaken ang mga muscles ay mag-shrink or mag-shorten. Ang tawag po namin doon, atrophy. Yun ang medical term namin. Atrophy. Pwede ko bang isulat dito yung atrophy? Sandali ha, kung kaya. Uh, pen. Ah, there you go. Pwede pala. Uh, yan. Susulat ko dito ha. <laughs> Ayala mag sa no? At <laughs> tignan nyo yung spelling ha. Para medyo may masabi kayong kaan. Medical term. Yun. There you go. Ang hirap pa. Ah, pasensya po ha. Siyempre, the control. Hindi ganun kaganda dito. But uh, I'll try to uh, write it down. Spell it out for you. Atrophy. Ayan. Ayan, 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 ayan. So, there you go. Aba, nabitin pa yung letter Y. Sige, yan po. At the bottom of your screen, makikita ninyo, yun ang po ang mangyayari pag hindi po nagagamit ang muscle. In the long run. Okay. So, nag-shorten yan. May medical term kami, atrophy. Do you notice, mga taong, uh, let's say, nagkaroon ng stroke. Di ba? Nagkaroon ng stroke. Halimbawa, let's say, the left side of the body, yan po ay nagagalaw niya. Right side of the body ay hindi niya nagagalaw. Now, pag hindi po nag-exercise po yan, hindi nagpapaterapy, uh, pansinin ninyo, i-compare niyo yung left na, let's say, uh, foot from that of the right. Pansin ninyo, di ba niyo nakikita na yung other side na hindi masyadong nagagamit? Mas mas maliit. That's the medical term, atrophy. So that is why ayaw natin na porke may knee pain ka, ba'y parang tumigil ng mundo? Di pwede. Kailangan talaga mag-exercise pa rin. Again, dapat magtanong sa doktor niyo. Kasi baka may mga comorbid conditions kayo. Halimbawa, may mga heart diseases po kayo, maliban sa knee pain, siyempre, tanongin niyo po yung doctor niyo. What is the appropriate exercise for you? Yun ang message namin. Weight training and stretching do. 
also. So gumawa din po kayo. Mag-weight training din po kayo or mag-stretching din po kayo. Okay. So what else? Okay. For cardio, di ba sabi natin cardio, ano mga cardio na pwede? Interesting itong mga sinadjust ng expert natin. Some good choices. Talaga macha-challenge yung tuhod natin dito. Ano mga cardio na sinadjust niya? Walking. Aray, ang sakit. Swimming, ayan, pwede pa siguro. Pero masakit pa rin yun. Kahit paano, eh, ipapadal mo pa rin. Water aerobics. Stationary cycling. Okay, you're gonna use your knees in here. No? An elliptical machines. Ito nga po, ang ganda. Tai Chi may also help ease stiffness and improve balance. So may mga expert po tayo sa na nagta-Tai Chi. Diba? Naalala niyo po yung advice namin nung una. Uh, the seven best uh, doctors. Diba? Yung good exercise or meditation. Kasama po yun. Aside from the good diet. Uh, good air. Diba? Yun yung mga kuan natin. In-advise. Mga good doctors natin yan. Yun. Okay, don't forget. Ha? So what else? Let's go. Uh -huh. Erase ko lang. Laser pointer tayo. There you go. Next. Ah, ito. Don't risk a fall. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Pag meron po kayong knee pain, yan eh, basahin ko isa-isa muna. A painful or unstable knee. Look at the word unstable knee can make a fall more likely which cause more knee damage ang sinasabi po ng author if you have knee pain kailangan po uh, meron kayong anticipation gagawa kayo ng kaparaanan na hindi magkaroon ng further uh, uh, injury through so called fall or accident curb your risk of falling by making sure your home is well lit so medyo magandang ilaw using handrails Diba? Kung may stairs po kayo, dapat may handrails para support. And using a sturdy ladder or foot stool if you need to reach something from a high shelf. So, ante po yun. Okay? So, parang ina-advise po sa atin, if you have those knee pain, eh, be ensure na hindi magkaroon ka ng additional na problema, yung nga po accident or yung fall. Okay? O, tignan nyo naman, isa sa mga favorite cartoons ko pa ang ginamit ko dito <laughs> sa presentation. <laughs> Buti talaga, may mga we can uh, download. No? It's freely available. Of course, we recognize again yung mga sources natin dyan. What else? Ah, ito. Ito, pwede ninyo ito yung sulat. Pag may nipi, use the acronym RICE. R-I-C-E. Ano ang RICE? Uh, kanin po ba ito? Ah, may, mayroon po yung ibig sabihin. So, isulat natin ha. Rice. So, word of the day. Rice. Nga po. <laughs> what is letter R sa rice? Nga po. R stands for rest. Yun. So, pag meron nipping, ang tatandaan natin, rice. R-I-C-E. Ang unang gagawin, rest it. Kaya lang sabi natin na too much ha. You rest it para hindi ma-aggravate. What's next? What's letter I? Sabi nga, letter I, eyes. So we're talking about, lalo na yung mga acute na knee pain. Yung bago lang. So you rest that portion, place ice or cold compress. Okay, what else? Compression. Yun, compression. So, rest, ice, compression. And what do you think is letter? E. Elevation. So, we're talking about a knee pain na lalo na yung bago lang. Um, uh, occur lang. Eka nga, no? So, anong explanation nito? Rice is good for knee pain caused by a minor injury or an arthritis flare. So, yung mga bago lang. So, yung mga minor. Kasi, ba't, ba't ina-emphasize na oh, ba ibang usapan pag mga fracture yan, ACL ligament uh, or ACL tear, na ibang usapan po yun. Give your knee some rest. Apply eyes to reduce swelling. So, general advice po ito. At wear a compressive bandage to splint it, most likely. And, and keep your knee elevated para ma-avoid yung pag-swell. Shadow. 
So very maganda pong advice to. Ha? So please write it down. Rice. Rice stands for rest. I is for ice. C is for compression. E is for elevation. Okay, so ang purpose nito para mas ma-manage natin, hindi ma-aggravate yung pain, yung knee pain. Hindi lalo magkaroon ng injury. Okay, so there you go. Ano po ba? Mag-next slide na po ako. Na-take note na po yun. Ha? So pag may family member po kayo, kaibigan, client, and they have this uh, problem with the knee, no? sabihin niyo, uh, use the method na uh, itinuturo sa amin. Ito yung rice. Anong rice? Oh, yun. Sabi ka pa mag-explain. Nag-lecture ka pa, no? <laughs> R is for rest. I is for ice. C is for compression. E is for elevation. Yun, klaro yun. Sige, next. Ah, ito na po. Previously, I showed sa inyo po yung uh, risk factors. And one of the risk factors is about... Uh, Uh, people ha uh, having um, increase in weight no or mga overweight for that matter bakit po halimbawa yung talking about the knees it there uh, uh, it bears the weight of the koan of the body no so apektado po siya sa bigat mo okay so tignan po natin baka lalo na nagkaroon tayo ng holiday uh, uh, celebration Christmas, New Year, kahit paano naman po, I would assume, sa bahay-bahay natin, kumakayo, baka nakalimutan lang, baka lang nakalimutan mag-exercise at nag-gain tayo ng weight. no? And that increase in weight can certainly stress your needs. Sigurado po yun. Okay? So, anong explanation natin? If you're overweight, losing weight, reduces the stress on your knee. So makikita ninyo yung dramatic uh, once you lose weight, yung dramatic effect sa tuhod ninyo. Makikita ninyo yun. So that's why I, I strongly advise na kayo po, eh, if you look at your weight, no? uh, tignan nyo po, so baka po tapos masakit ang tuhod, tapos na-increase nga kayo ng weight, and most likely yun ang rason. So, wag mo nang, although tama naman po, baka sabi niya uric acid, tama naman po, but look at your weight again. Baka isa yan sa rason. Okay? Sa bahay-bahay po natin, maybe if you could buy, or if you have a barangay center, yung may personalize sana kayo na weighing scale. No? Isa sa ayaw natin na <laughs> uh, regalo or um, item sa bahay ay yung weighing scale. Kasi ang weighing scale daw, to our point of view, nagsisinungaling. <laughs> Pag nakita ko, naku, hindi ako ganun kabigat. Di ba? Ganun. But the, the nice thing, if you have a, a weighing scale sa bahay nyo, sa so totoo lang po, ano, yung pag-monitor mo, yung progress mo, makikita mo talaga. And you will be, um, should I say, motivated. Motivated to exercise or to lose weight. Importante po yun. Again, ibalik ko lang po yung sinabi ko from the start. Uh, accordingly, or to reports, nasa mga reports naman po yan, we have this so-called variant, again, of this COVID-19, and it is more contagious. Mas mabilis po ang pag-spread. Uh, so, again, it needs a healthy body natin para makombat po yung effect nito. No? Uh, healthy immune system for that matter. In fact, during our, baka makalimutan ko lang, during our LBNA uh, strategic meeting, meron po akong sinulat doon, meron po akong present at uh, sinadjust na magiging tagline natin, no? especially sa LBNA. Of course, I think tomorrow we're going to have a strategic meeting with the uh, leaders ng uh, ating company. But uh, earlier, I have already presented this to the LBNA members and of course our boss in one of the regular meetings. Sabi ko, magandang tagline to. So, soon, uh, lalabas po yun. But it has something to do with your immune system. May tagline tayo para matatandaan natin yun. Dito lang yan sa company natin. Uh, we are the first to think about it, to uh, appreciate it, and really, 
to implement it. Especially, sa, sabi ko muna, mag-start muna, lalong-lalo na po sa LBNA mga members natin. Kasi i-spread natin yan para lahat. Ah, by the way, nagtanong-tanong nga po ako among LBNA, LBNA members, sabi ko, among you, sino po sa inyo ang uh, nagkasakit dun po sa COVID? And God is good, eh, ang report po sa akin, wala po. So sabi ko, then it's about time, again and again, to share it with others. Bakit kayo naging happy? Bakit uh, hindi po na in fact, you must be doing something right. Diba? So, yun po ang, that's why we are proud uh, to share it with you. So, yeah. What else? If, kagaya ako, ay, mahilig ako mag-jog eh. So, itong magandang advice to. Don't let your shoes make matters worse. Ano ibig sabihin nito? If you have knee pain, don't let your shoes make matters worse. Ano ibig sabihin po dito? So, dapat po ang insole. Mayroon kayong sinasabing cushion insoles can reduce stress on your knees. So, pakicheck naman po ng sapatos natin. No? Alam ko po, uh, sabi nga nila, you have to invest in your shoes, especially if you're using it, especially if you're doing activities na involving, uh, of course, your, your feet. Kasi it affects your knees. So, what else? For example, if you have a knee osteoarthritis, Doctors, mga doctor ha, often recommend special insole. So, in special insole yan. So, alam niya ng mga doctors niya that you put in your shoe. To find the appropriate insole, speak with your doctor or a physical therapist. So, kausapin niyo po. Okay? So, medyo ang iba. Uh, may nakita ko eh. Yung isa, dahil maganda ang design ng shoes. Yet, honestly, hindi ganun ka-comfortable. More on the design eh. More on how... Uh, he looks, yun ang importante. Hindi kalimutan niya yung benefit sana. Especially the health benefit. Kasi kailangan po talaga yung shoes niyo appropriate yung size. Uh, sabi nga po dito, meron po siya insole. Dapat po ganun. Diba? Eh, huwag yung kakalimutan yun. Kasi as I've said, the right shoes for you no? eh, can affect those needs. Okay, so don't forget. What else? Do play with temperature. So, ano itong, if you have knee pain, ang isang advice is to do play with temperature. Ano, what temperature? Kasi yung uh, hotness or coldness, hotness or coldness, meron yan benefit sa katawan natin. Hotness or coldness as a therapy, meron po yan benefit. Kaya lang, kailan natin? Sino ba nauuna pag may injury ka? O kaya may pain? Is it hot muna? Or yung cold uh, therapy? Sige nga po. For example, ito, tanong ko sa inyo. Uh, for example, ngayon-ngayon po, nagkaroon ka ng spring. O, ni injury. Bagong-bago. Tanong ko, ano unahin niyo po? Hot compress or cold compress? Sige nga po, pasulat dito. Tingnan ko. Or, the situation is like this. Ah. At the moment, nagkaroon ng injury, knee pain. Ayan. So bagong-bago. What will you do? What will you apply? Is it a cold compress or hot compress? Sige nga po, tingnan ko sagot ninyo. Habang nagahay ako <laughs> sa mga... mga Kaibigan dito. Hi, Uplands, the twin. Summer, oh, mukhang uh, tak na imo, ano? Very good. Oh, anong answer ninyo, uh, Lance, uh, the twin? Sabi ni Up Arnel Mara, ang bilis, ha? Ice. Sabi ni Up Haile Acero Nilos, cold compress. Ni Up Bills de Divino, cold. Uh, sa, may pabati si Up Lorelei de la Cruz Oval. Coach, pabati po sa family ko po sa Laguna, especially sa anak ko Ooh, na nag-celebrate po ng birthday. Nanonood po sila. Thank you po, Coach. God bless you. Oy, happy birthday. Ako. Oh, there, si mother, na si mama mo, ano, nag-working uh, hard. So, in return, eh, magpakabait ha. Siyempre, layo ni mami eh, doing things para sa ikakabuti ninyo. So, happy birthday. Happy birthday. So, ano pa? Apconi, Remegio, cold compress. Aba, 
cold compress, cold compress, sila up Madel Andoyo, up Lorelai Obal, si up Arnel Mara, uh, cold compress, sabi ni up Play uh, Mateo, hot compress po better, up May. Siyempre, cold, sabi ni Arnel, hindi cold, hindi hot, elevate. Okay. <laughs> up Gail, Baron Cold, sabi ni up Rods, Barnes, hot compress, Renato Socorro, hot, hot compress, up Tess, Kahida, mm, cold compress. Ba? Hati ang grupo ah. So may recent injury or uh, nipping. Ang tanong ko, what do you apply kagad? Is it the cold or hot? So medyo nakita ko parang hati ano? Sige nga po. At may rason po yan. Uh, if you have acute or recent uh, knee injury or uh, uh, knee pain, ano po yun? O yung apply ko, oh, thank you Akmina. O oh, cold to ease inflammation. May explanation pa siya. Ha? Ang galing. Thank you Ak. Sabi ni Ak Adino, Rivera cold, LC Thomas, Ganayo cold compress. Okay. Para masagot na po natin. For the first 48 to 70, 72 hours after a knee injury, use cold pack to, to what? Anong purpose natin? To ease swelling. Pamamaga. Inflammation po. And numb the pain. So, sa unang 48 to 72 hours, 2 uh, days or 3, mas maigi po cold compress po. Why? Kasi po, basahin ko lang, tapusin ko lang ha. A plastic bag of ice or frozen peas works well. Aba? So, siya lang, frozen peas pa. Ice na lang. <laughs> Use it for 15 to 20 minutes, 3 or 4 times a day. So, parang nagtutut brush ka pa 3 times a day or after eating. Wrap your ice pack in a towel to be kind to your skin. So, uh, very mag maganda po ang kanyang explanation dito. So, ang purpose po why you should first give a cold compress is to ease the swelling okay, or inflammation at para manam ang pain. Okay, yun po. Uh, may paalala po siya ha. Not directly yung ice po sa skin. Kasi syempre ma magkaka-injury ka naman nun sa skin because of too, too much cold or too, too cold na compression. So, lagyan nyo naman po ng uh, wrap your ice pack in a towel. No? Para naman po hindi naman ma-injure yung skin. Bakit po? Sagutin natin the other way around. You have a recent knee injury, for example. Instead of putting a cold pack, you place hot compress. Ano po mangyayari? Ang swelling po doon, mas na-accelerate so, masakit po yun. Lalong sasakit. Lalong mamamaga po yun. So, what we are doing initially, our purpose in here is to lessen, to ease the swelling. Yun pong purpose natin. Okay? So, based on advice, mas maigi daw po na cold muna, compress. And this is after that. You can now heat things up. Ang ganun naman ang sinabi. Heat things up with a warm bath, heating pad, bath social or warm towel for 15 to 20 minutes, again, three to four times a day. So, bakit naman po from cold, hot naman po ang binigay po. This time, kasi na hindi na po inflame masyado because of the cold compress, pag hot compress na ang pinalo up mo doon, you are actually this time promoting, uh, helping yung healing process niya. Yung circulation niya mas maganda. Okay? I'm not saying that on the first part walang healing impact nagwo-work na po yun. Kaya lang ayaw natin lalong ma-inflame. I don't know uh, among you, pag nagbabasketball po kayo, especially mga gentlemen natin dito, nakakita na po ba kayo ng nagbabasketball na, na sprain? Ang nila agad eh, mainit. Kasi pag mainit, mapapansin nyo, lolobo yung paa na yan. Literally. Why? It is swelling. When you place hot uh, compress, lalo nag-favor sa uh, swelling. Why? Pag may hot po na compress po, the circulation mas mabilis, mas dilated. Yung mga blood vessel po doon, mas nagda-dilate po. Kaya ang circulation mas mabilis. So, it favors swelling. Unlike yung cold compress. Okay po yun ha? So, sabi ng author natin, ng expert natin, if you have knee pain, especially after a knee injury, do it first using a cold pack or cold compress. Then later, Followed by a hot compress. Yun. So basic po yun. So, I think this is uh, my last slide. 
since I've shown you that there are a lot of causes ng knee pain, importante po dito uh, yung sinasabi natin, anong specific cause? Kasi iba ang management. Hence, therefore, dapat po tayo mag-seek ng expert advice. Kasi there was a time, meron po akong, uh, nung una pa po, he was compla complaining of knee pain. Uh, he was pointing out na ang dami na niyang kinakain. Lumalaki na siya. Parang ganun, bumibigat. So ako naman, I was thinking, ah, yeah, pwede nga. But he failed to give in his history na meron pala siyang previous injury. In fact, meron pa siyang partially uh, lacerated or torn ACL. So hindi niya yan <laughs> nasabi. So iba po ang management nun. Although, pag sinabi natin, oh, you should lose weight, uh, tama naman po kasi it won't aggravate that so-called uh, tearing of the ligament. Pero maybe we're talking about surgical already, not only supplement. Okay, you know what I mean. Yung pong point ko dito. So very, very important to be honest with your doctor. Tell him or her yung exact details. Okay, kumpletong detalye. Huwag po kayo makulitan pag sinabing, tanong ng tanong ang doktor na ito. Kasi the doctor is trying to get information para he could come up with the correct diagnosis and correct management. Kasi pag mali ang diagnosis niya, syempre iba ang management niya. Now, at our end, tayo po ay tinuruan po tayo. Uh, we shared sa inyo po regarding the so-called mga proper uh, health uh, um, uh, practices. So paalala ulit po, good diet, good sleep, okay? Good exercise, have clean air, diba? meditation, yung mga ganun po, good sunshine, vitamin D ba yun, diba? Tama po yun. So with that, uh, I'll be ending my uh, uh, sharing. So sana may natutunan po kayo. Don't forget yung rice, diba? <laughs> Baka mamaya mapadami ng rice na kain, iba naman po yun. Ha? The rice, so whenever you have a meeting, ano yung car doon, Rest it, di ba? Ice. Kaya nga sa rice, di ba? Natandaan nyo kanina. Kaya nga yung second letter dun, letter I, ice, kagat. It summarizes on D, so-called me, pain. So with that, uh, mag-entertain tayo ng few questions. Oh, naka one hour na pala tayo. So sige, I'll entertain few questions po. Mag-stop sharing muna siguro ako, no? Yan, there you go. Sige. So habang binabasa ko po about ah, may pahabol old compression. Okay, very good. Uh -huh, good morning po coach. Sabi ni Logan Fox. Uh Josie Saligumba. Cold compress. Basilia Nable. Hello, cold compress Lisa Reoyo. Yeah, thank you very much. Team Voltage watching from Dubai. Erlinda Asuncion. Hi, Coach. Uh, ano ito? Good morning po. Sabi ni Aplin Lopez to. Ha? Good morning po. Pa-whisper po sa Aplin ko. Si... Ah, ito na po yung nabasa natin kanina. Yeah, thank you, Aplin Lopez. Oh, there you go. Thank you so much, uh, Coach. More learning sa sinishare mo po. God bless. Thank you, Aplin and Doyo. Ah, okay. Si Aplin Recawerta, food supplement po for kidney problem or the problem po ng guest ko, coach. Please help. Salamat, coach. Okay, I don't know what specific type of problem mo sa kidney. Do may stone po ba? Uh, wag naman, uh, kidney failure kasi ibang usapan po yun, ano? Uh, o kaya naman may UTI po ba si client niyo po? At heart disorder, ano po bang problem sa heart? Meron po ba siyang, kung tawagin natin ay mabilis po siyang mapagod? May palpitation po ba siya? But usually in our system, ano, pasabi po sa inyo pong guests, sa ating SIP system, kasi po, what we are dealing in here is health promotion. Uh, hindi po tayo, kasi may mga fan yan, eh, may mga kategorya. Sa health po, meron pong promotion and prevention. Meron po yung tinatawag nating treatment. Okay? Meron po yung tinatawag na rehabilitation. Okay, meron po yun. In this setup natin, 
what we are after is the health promotion. Kasi pag-treatment, amin na po yun. Sa mga doktor, sa amin po yun, naka, nakasaad sa batas at saka sa practice. Kami po ang nanggagamot. But ang kagandahan sa health promotion, sabi nga kanina na, sabi nga, parang nakita ko kanina, ang bilis kasi, pero I think it was Apromeo. No? Apromeo, hello po. Sabi ni Apromeo, prevention is better than cure. Di ba palagi inuulit natin yan? So therefore po, medyo what we are saying in here is that important di mga preventative measures natin. In your case, although specific na kalagay po dito ng updikitin, uh, we will usually start with the so-called fencing. Pasabi po sa, sa guest ninyo, ang maganda dito, ano man ang sakit yan, basic or staple in our uh, system is the cleansing. That is why, ang nire-recommend ko po, nag-crypto uh, nag, uh, po ako, 4 by 4 no? four, four. <laughs> Alam niyo yung ibig sabihin nun, di ba? Tapos, uh, pag nahihirapan po, kasi pag may heart problem, although not specific na sinabi dito, ang tinitignan ko po, uh, meron po bang fluid po ba? May congestive heart failure? Kasi iba po yun, why? I have to ask that because the supplement, the form of supplement na i-recommend -re ako po, ay eh, depende po sa condition ninyo. Ang iba po, nagkakaroon ng difficulty in breathing or difficulty even in swallowing pag mga capsule. So I would recommend, aside from the crypto, kasi yung crypto natin maliliit, okay lang po yun. Ang iba, kinakrush na nila yan. I would recommend also the so-called, yung acai berry na lang. Kasi liquid form po yun. Okay. Pero kung kaya naman po niya, yung ating Santi 8, no? 111, mas maganda po. Emphasis po natin is that ang ating katawan, may natural na kaparaanan, natural function of cleaning itself. Ganun po ang katawan natin. That's how God designed us. Ang ganda po ng disenyo ng, ng Diyos sa atin. Ang problem is that when we abuse it sa food natin, abuse sa, sa rest natin, diba? environment natin, nagkakaroon po riyan ng mga free radicals at nahihirapan po. Nagpa-function pa rin po ang katawan natin pero nahihirapan po to eliminate those uh, mga uh, impurities. So what we are telling you is that through our system, mas natutulungan natin mag-cleanse ang ating katawan. And it, 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 uh, through cleaning of your body, mas ang chance na po na, should I say, yung ma-aggravate ang sakit ninyo, eh mas maganda po ang epekto. Ganun po natin. At it, it has been proven. Nakita na po yan. Okay? Cleansing is the key in here. Okay? So pasabi up, daikitin ha? So I hope next time up dai kita ni kuan po. Pwede niyo akong i-PM, ipakita niyo po sa akin kung may mga laboratory works kasi by the way ha, uh, yung iba mas mabilis po pag <laughs> PPM po kayo, I private na siya. Mas nasasagot ko po kayo doon. Okay. Sige. Aha, uh -huh. up cherries, ah uh, uh, up dai kita baka makalimot ko next time you can PM me then show me mga laboratories niya para mas mas specific ako. But regardless of the condition, I, I do believe mag-cleansing po siya. Malaking may tutulog po niyo. Charis up, Alex Diamond. Maraming maraming salamat po, Doc Rich. Sa panics niyo po sa amin na. God bless po. Salamat din po. Sabi ko nga po, I am given this opportunity. Magandang advocacy po ito eh. Kasi even before wala pa ako sa uno, uh, ako po ay nagtuturo na. Ganun po ng aking advocacy. Nagtuturo na po ako. So, tapos nagkaroon pa ako ng ganitong kuwan po. Uh, platform. So, salamat po. Salamat po. So, up, uh, Cheryl Balios, madamo gid na salamat sa dagdag kaalaman, Dok. Ay, nag-handod. Salamat, up, Cheryl Balios. Siyempre, ah, ito ka, uh, Facebook po to, si up, Ron, si Pascual Barles. Thank you po, Dok. God bless you po. Ah, umabol pa si up, Arnel Mara. Cold. <laughs> Cold compress. <laughs> up, Lorelei de la Cruz Oval. Thank you po, Coach, sa mga advices niyo po. Ingat po pala yung gado. Salamat po. Hello, up, Jersey Barrera. Thank you sa learning nyo. Sa mga learnings every Sunday, God bless up, Jessa Jordan Mahinay. Thank you din po. Watching from Binangonan, ang layo-layo. <laughs> Doc Rick, Pedilina, Di Ocampo. Thank you po. There you go. Up, Lynn Lopez. Oh, syempre, ginigrip niya yung upline niya. Na-mention na natin. Thank you, up, Lynn Lopez. Ha? Uh, thank you. Aba. Parang 
Ang daming messages, di ka ako nakakahabol. Thanks, sabi niya. <laughs> Hello, thank you, Doc. Up, Tess Cahida. Up, Amelio Monsanto. Thanks po, Doc Rick Cordero. Up, Helga Tista. Thank you po. Thank you sa learning. Up, Landayao, Rossi. Uh, there you go. Up, Rowell, Agom. Ah, nag-hearts. Up, thank you. Up. <laughs> Nauhuli ako eh. Ang dami eh. Thank you very much. Uh, up, Bebe, Gonzaga, Aranda. Thank you sa learning. Thank you din po. Oh, Ito, sabi ni Apalguera Pamisaran Risa. Risa. Dok, tanong lang po sa my acute UTI. Ano po magandang supplement dapat to take? Okay, paalala po. Uh, one of the supplements na merong potential na antimicrobial. In fact, nasa pa na po yun. Pinag-aaralan na po ito. Ang ganda po ng, uh, ng uh, development sa pag-aaral nito ay itong tinatawag natin BCO. So, you can have BCO. You can have that three times a day. At saka po, you can have, uh, you have to increase your fluid. Very important po yun. Uh, you can also, in addition, have a, the so-called, uh, um, syempre yung crypto, very staple yan sa akin. 4x4x4. Four by four by four. Okay. Now, ang, ang, ang paalala ko lang po, Apalera, no? pag UTI kasi we're talking about a microorganism in there na continuous po, nagkukos nga po ng UTI. As a doctor, palagi po pong ina-advise na, of course, see your doctor, maybe may mga laboratory na gagawin. Isa yung mga urinalysis yan. Pag nakita sa urinalysis ninyo or urine analysis, nakita po marami pong past cells, WBC, yung mga uh, cells na yun po, eh talagang magre-recommend na, na po yan ng antibiotics. So you have to consult your doctor. Okay? So... Tulungan mo yun with the supplement. Maganda naman po yun. The effect will be very, very good. Part. Okay. Thank you po. Sabi ni Ap Ani Medina de Rojas. Thank you. Ba, may humabol si Ap Astra Valdez. Cold compress. Talaga naman. <laughs> Yung cold and hot ngayon. Ha? Uso ah. <laughs> okay, thank you po. Thank you sa learning. Uh, Ap Hamsia Almasa. PY Coach Rick. Sabi ni Ap Daikite. Thank you. <laughs> eh, Ap Idita Sugano. Thank you. Thank you din po. Alona Casio. Angel Valenzuela, thank you then. Okay. From Saudi Arabia, Landayao Rossi, thank you. Another learning. Oh, don't forget next uh, uh, two weeks from now. Meron din po tayong magandang topic. Nag-suggest nito yung aking upline. So, so yes, sabi ko tama din naman. Uh -huh. Good luck sa meeting ninyo tomorrow with the management. Sabi ni Ap Romeo Asiato. Thank you po, Ap. Salamat po. Thank you, Doc Reed. Uh, I'll do my best kasi may klase ako. But, uh, Gagawang ko ng paraan. <laughs> Landa yao, Rossi. Thank you, Doc Rick, sa learnings. Okay, from Dubai. Uh, Hailey Milos. Uh, thank you po, Coach Do, uh, Doc Rick. Frederick Galin. Thank you. Uh, watching from Dubai, si Joyce Brigoli. Thank you sa learning. Thank you din. Sa kaalaman, salamat po, Dip Anipal. Ba, ang dami yan, no? Natutuwa ako. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, thank you, Doc. Uh, of course, si Apalguera Rinsa, na advice ko na tayo. Uh, Det Anipal, you, you can PM me up, uh, Apalguera. No? Kasi dito po mga kauno ano, kasama. Whenever you ask, tandaan niyo po, ang, ang aking, ang aking uh, platform ay ganito lang po. You would post a question, tapos kung ano ang, ano ang information that I read, yun lang po ang akin. Sometimes, the answer to your question or query Medyo, ang dami, daming mga consideration. So, sometimes I would really appreciate it na you can PM me, walang problema. PM na lang po, diretso kayo. Sometimes nga po, kung iba, they'll take a photo of their uh, laboratory, tapos PPM sa akin. Dok, anong ibig sabihin nito? Ayun, mas na-explain ko. <laughs> tapos nakakahabol pa ako ng tanong. No? Although dito, you can ask. I, I, I don't mind, mama. Masaya po, no? nakakagana po. Okay, there you go. Damo nga salamat. Sabi ni Ap, oh, tikang ha, late o oh, late na to. Ito, kabayan ko ito si Richelle, kilakil huyo. Okay, ha, ha in ha late, Richelle. Southern late or mismo ha late? Kloban ka ba? Oh. Kami nakakaintindi na ni Richelle, yung pinagsasabi namin. <laughs> ah, Ka-Facebook ko ito si Ap Marilo Kabilan Toke. Thank you, Doc. God bless. Mary Grace and Parilan. From Hong Kong, Lori Ibuna. Okay, good morning. Jundit Telas. Am I at the end of the... Uh, okay. Ah, ito. 
Up, uh, hello po, up Marichu Lusana Hamish, uh, Hashimoto. Doc, sabi ni up Maricel C. Elsa, what's, what, what po best food supplement natin para sa may tubig ang baga? Okay, very good ang question na yan. Pag usually pag may tubig ang baga, ang manifestation niyan ay yung difficulty of breathing. In fact, one of the, at a certain level dun sa fluid sa baga, there will come a time na pag nakahiga siya ng flat, ang hirap po huminga. In fact, he or she would elevate no? para lang makahinga, para actually madrain yung water pababa. So actually sa amin po, we, pag maraming fluid, medyo ang medical approach nun, nun po eh medyo dinidrain namin. Alam niya ng mga doctors, so itanong niyo na lang sa doctor. On our part, ang may tutulong po ng supplement natin is definitely doon po tayo, again, I go with the crypto, then the uh, acai berry, then you can add up the so-called uh, uh, wheat, wheat grass and barley. Very important po yun. Kasi ang gusto ko po dito, in spite of the pathology na may fluid, eh, masupport pa rin natin yung health ng lungs natin. Kasi nahirapan yung lungs. At by the way, pag meron pong fluid sa baga, maraming causes yan. Uh, pwedeng smoker po ba si yung, yung nire-retar ninyo? Uh, meron po bang bukol doon? Sorry po. O kaya naman, it is a manifestation of a congested heart failure. Yung sa puso po. So how's your, the heart? Kumusta po ang puso po? At Maricel C. El, Elka. Kumusta ang puso No, sinasabi niyo yung client. Okay. There you go. So, yun po, ano? So, yun muna. You start with what I said. Mas maganda. Then, better check. Kasi di natin alam what specific type of, uh, what reason, bakit siya nag-fluid uh, retention sa lungs niya. Okay. Oh, sabi ni Aprichel, who you, southern Leyte po, pero originally from Haro po. Ah, kung Haro, waray ko. Waray ko. Southern Leyte, more on Visaya speaking. Pero, kababayan pa rin. Wow, coach daw. Kabayan ko pala ikaw. Team Lawin ng Tagloban. Wow, ang muta tipang linawan. Yes, kabayan. Oh, dami. Uh, kadamot ako mga kabayan dere. <laughs> Up George C. Barrera. Kumusta? So, thank you po ng marami daw. Up Lin Kinyo. So, na-notice wala nang masyadong question. Tama po ba? Going once, going twice. Okay, so uh, ako I'm very humbled na yun po and very very happy. Ang dami po natin. And I, kagaya nito, may mga uh, listener po tayo who are inviting others. Oh, parang guests nila. No? Tawag natin guests. Uh, telling them, oh, listen to what our doctor will tell you. Salamat po for that opportunity. And I do hope I was able to answer it appropriately at saka tama. Right. Uh, Uh, para makatulong po sa inyo. Again, we go back to the basic. We are very, very much into health promotion. At sabi nga kanina, health uh, or prevention is better than cure. So yun po ang ating pong approach. Uh, tamang informasyon sa supplement natin, tamang, tamang approach at information sa mga ginagawa natin. Okay? Huwag po tayo mag... Uh, how, do call, how do you call that? Uh, kasi I've seen other other groups they would uh, swear no? mga marami silang mga clinic claim na wala naman uh, ta talihas sa tamang informasyon sa siyensya sa reference na tama no? we cannot do that po tayo ganun sayang ang ganda ng produkto we should not lie the product sana na nagigets you po sabi natin ang totoo lang po what it can do and how it can help at ilan na po ang natulungan niyan. Sa, so mas maganda ang ganun. Nagsasabi tayo na katotohanan. Mas maganda yun. Mas approve si God dun. Okay? <laughs> Nag-sermon ba? <laughs> Paalala lang po. Mas gusto ko po ang ganun. Okay? So there you go. Uh, maraming salamat po sa inyo. Uh, sabi ng text at ang aking... Uh -huh. Aba. <laughs> Thank you po. Galing naman ng uh, PM sa aking uh, upline. Salamat po. Uh. Thank you. Ikaw din. Siyempre, upline. Idol kita. <laughs> Yung direct upline ko po. Maraming salamat po. And with that, uh, 
I think uh, wala nang question. Maraming salamat po and I hope to see you next time pag nag-solo niya ako ng uh, uh, FB Live. May magandang topic pa rin tayo. I'm gonna present it to the best that I can uh, uh, I can present. No? Uh, Pinaka-practical na maintindihan, magagamit natin at maintindihan talaga. Maraming salamat po. To God be all the glory. Uh, maraming salamat ulit.